What's up, MI40 Nation? BPAC coming back at you with another Q&A. We have a question from Benny Lee. Benny Lee asks, Ben, what are the best steps to improve insulin sensitivity? Uh, it depends how bad it is. Um, I highly suggest eliminating carbohydrates from your diet for a short period of time, maybe two weeks. Uh, you don't have to eliminate them completely, but eliminate certainly um, high glycemic carbohydrates. You can stick with a few starches, but primarily you want to even eliminate starches, depending on how bad you are as far as uh, insulin uh, resistance. Maybe if you're over 20% body fat, I'd eliminate it completely for, for two to three weeks. Uh, if you're just over 12%, but you find that if you eat carbs, you're really, you're really resistant, so you get fat from eating carbs, you may take it out for just a couple weeks, or even cycling it. Cycling carbohydrates are a great way to optimize insulin sensitivity. So for those of you that don't know, obviously most of you do, cycling simply means varying your amounts. So there may be three days in a row where I go very low and then one day I go high and then, or one day I'll go medium, then one day high, then low back low again. It depends on my specific goals at the time, on my training intensity, uh, and on how uh, much body fat I have or you have. So those are your considerations when, when looking at insulin sensitivity. As far as supplements go, uh, my favorite is simply cinnamon. It's so simple, it's so cheap. I put cinnamon on all my carbohydrates, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, even sometimes rice. Uh, it sounds gross, but if you mix it with a little bit of butter or uh, coconut oil or uh, even a bit of milk if you drink milk, uh, it, it actually just, just bad tastes kind of like pudding. Uh, so that's a great way. Uh, there's a lot of supplements out there that can help improve insulin sensitivity. Uh, fenugreek has shown to be very effective. Banaba leaf, uh, chromium, many, many things like that. Uh, something as simple as taking essential fatty acid fish oils with uh, L-carnitine so L-carnitine, as many of you know, has actually been proven to shuttle fats into the mitochondria of the cell, but it's also been shown to uh, possibly change the phospholipid, the composition of the phospholipid bile of the cell. So what that means to most of you people at home who have no idea or don't really care what that means, every cell in the body has what's called a phospholipid bile layer, which is kind of the, the, the lipid or the layer that encompasses the cell, and it kind of regulates what comes in and out of the cell. So if it's, com if it's compromised with trans fatty acids, you're not going to absorb nutrients as well if it's compromised with omega-3s. So that's something you may want to consider is maybe increasing the amount of omega-3s in your diet, decreasing inflammation, as well as improving insulin sensitivity. Um, that's it. And it, on a day-to-day -day basis, improving insulin sensitivity simply by not taking in carbohydrates early in the day. And as soon as you take in carbohydrates, your insulin levels go up and your body is not as insulin sensitive. So uh, if you're looking to improve insulin sensitivity, you may want to prolong the amount of time you go throughout in the day without carbohydrates. Save your carbs for after the workout and before bed. Be pack out.